this entire situation is an absolute dumpster fire. I've been up all night preparing and just doing research for this video because this is a dangerous video that has gone dangerously viral because there is so much misinformation in it. So I'm currently recording this video in the back of my girlfriend's mom's car as she's driving us to the airport because I'll be traveling all day. The truth of this entire situation needs to be out on the internet ASAP. That's why I'm recording it right here, right now. If we've learned from any previous situations, we need 100% proof before we call someone out for any BS allegations, definitely when it's criminal allegations, there should at least be a police report. And sure, if the police do nothing about it, then you can air it out. But before then, ah, very sketchy about it. And if we've learned anything from previous accusations, we need 100% proof and not just text receipts to call someone what he was accused for. A cheater, yeah, sure, that's pretty much confirmed, but the other one, that's a dangerous, dangerous allegation that has no need to be aired out without a police report. So Cole Kerrigan uploaded the video titled The Truth About the Ace Family, where he goes on to say that Austin McBroom, who's the father of the Ace Family, and his father forcefully inserted themselves into a girl without consent. So a few months ago, June 22nd to be exact, I was still living in the Team 10 house and I got a call from one of my good friends. She was hysterically crying. I've never heard anyone feel so distraught in my life. I was so scared. And she began to explain to me that she was in Miami with Austin McBroom and a bunch of other people, including his assistant, his dad, security guards, other girls, X, Y, Z happened. I'll get into that. So, okay, yeah, he showed proof, right? No, he really didn't. All he showed was a smoke show with nothing concrete. Once I saw people coming forward after my tweet and DMing me about their personal experience with Austin, I knew that this probably has happened more than once. And if no one comes forward about it, it will happen again. And then he shows us that Keemstar took a $500,000 bribe to not upload a video about it. So after that tweet, Keemstar, aka Drama Alert, reached out to me through DM saying to give him a call whenever I could. So I called him and he basically asked me what was going on, what happened, why I tweeted that, and the story behind it. I basically gave him a small rundown of what happened and he proceeded to ask me if he could reach out to my friend that it happened to and get her to speak so he could put a video together. He was asking me all sorts of questions so I knew that he was already recording me to probably add to his video. So we kind of just stayed low because we, we saw a bunch of tweets about people already knowing that he was uploading a video the next day about the situation so we kind of were just like not worried and we were just going to kind of let it unfold that way so we didn't have to insert ourselves where it wasn't needed. The next day came and he didn't tweet anything, he didn't upload anything. So I texted him saying how much did they pay you to keep quiet and he responded with this and I was completely shocked. And I've spent a decent amount of time with Keemstar, you know, since I chased him with a sharp object around the forest for his Dollar in the Woods music video. And one thing he didn't hold back on mentioning or showing was the fact that he's rich. A drama alert makes millions of dollars a year and no business owner would ever put their business at risk for a fraction of what they make yearly. And this man also has a daughter. Do you really think he would let himself get paid off by someone who would do the unthinkable to someone else's daughter? Off. This is the same guy who claimed that Cameron Dallas was homophobic for throwing water on him when they were literally at a party where everyone was getting water thrown on them. Then he tried to expose Cameron Dallas as being gay. It can be really scary dealing with somebody with such power. And I think that's the main reason why a lot of people haven't come forward because they're afraid of not being heard or getting shut down or even getting a lawsuit in the mail because that's the type of person that Austin is. And if you signed an illegal NDA, that's definitely something that he would pursue in. One of my friends was texting back and forth with Austin about their trip to Miami and what girls that she should bring with her for him. I'm gonna put up the screenshots right here of her sending pictures of the girl to Austin and him replying with that. Here's another one. Here is another one. So after the girls were approved, I guess, after he swiped right and left, like this is Tinder, um, here is the next message of them talking about 
the address and if she had packed, yada, 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 talking about the private jet. So now I'm gonna also insert a screenshot between my friend and Austin's assistant of her saying that they are here and a link from for the yacht that they were on. Okay, so now fast forward two days later, June 22nd, when they are on the yacht, whatever, everybody's drinking, having a good time. I'm also gonna insert a picture right here of Austin and his dad together at live the night before this happened. So you guys have proof that the dad was there on the trip. After they all had been drinking, my two friends went back to their room to go change because the sun was setting. And that's when Austin, the security guard, the father, and two other guys came into their room. Obviously, I don't have recordings. I went down in the room, but my friend told me that she repeatedly said no multiple times over and over and over to the point where she started crying, begging them to stop. That's when they forced themselves in her, and I will insert the photos of the blood all over the bed sheets in the hotel room right here on the exact same date, June 22nd. So we're supposed to ask questions when all he has is an anonymous witness, which I did in these tweets right here. As of right now, the Ace Family situation is a disgusting dumpster fire, but has no real witness. This would all be very different if the witness went to the police with all of their evidence, with the ability to testify if needed. There were too many witnesses for it to be overlooked. NDAs cannot shield a perpetrator from criminal prosecution. After this had happened to them, Obviously, they're traumatized, so they hide out in their room for hours. This screenshot is going to be one of Austin McBroom's friends texting them three times within a three-hour period on June 22nd, right after they f***ed her, saying, what up? Then they didn't reply because they're obviously traumatized. And then two more texts saying, did you die? Are you dead? I'm also going to insert this screenshot right here of my friend texting her ex-boyfriend that lived in Miami saying that they were in a bad situation and needed help because her friend got her friend being the other girl that they were with, AKA my friend. Then the girl came out on Instagram due to this awful attempt of Coles to be praised by all these tea channels and so on. So the girl named Leslie Hannah Bell posted this. To speak on this video that Cole Kerrigan posted, some of you already figured out that I am the other girl they're talking about in the video. I feel like this video was made for the wrong reasons and this wasn't Cole's story to tell. Cole even texted me saying that we could potentially get paid $100,000 from this, meaning he actually actually believed what Keemstar told him. Following the claim, the drama alert was paid $500,000. Swipe right to see text. I wasn't aware if Amanda or Cole were in contact with Drama Alert to anomalously run our story, but I was aware of Cole's video being made, and I only wanted it to be factual if it was ever to be posted. I wanted to say that Austin McBroom is not to blame in the situation and did not me or anyone. I'm currently handling the situation in my own way. I brought this to social media to address the false accusations. This isn't what I wanted. There's several sides to every story, and this isn't how I wanted to tell mine. And here is a screenshot of him saying that he wants to split $100,000 with the two other victims. Really? I hate knowing that something this serious could put an end to the Ace family or such a loved group of people like I don't want to be that person and that's not what I'm here to do I don't want to split up a family I don't want to end relationships because I've been getting a lot of messages like that oh why don't you stay quiet why are you trying to ruin or end this family it's not about that like that's the last thing I want to do is rip someone's family apart or anything so in conclusion Cole I hope you get repercussions for this seriously I'd never think I'd ever defend Austin McBroom but I mean like if you're gonna call out Austin McBroom you have a long list of everything that we actually have proof of scummy things that he's done but this is not one of them he does not deserve to go down as that titled as that he does not deserve to go down like that no matter how evil he is or how many times he's cheated on his wife and so on and so on and that does not mean that something didn't happen it just means that austin didn't do it so in conclusion cole did not ruin the ace family austin ruined it by losing all sense of relatability by letting the money and fame and thinking he's invincible get to his head share this video so the real truth gets out there and uh, hopefully i'll see you guys in the next few days with a normal video i'm sorry for the amount of cuts and 
poor video and audio in this video, but this information needed to come out as soon as possible. So with that, see you guys in the next video. Peace.